Hey folks, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is Lady, and today I'm going to do an overview about Lone Star Lake, Texas. So we are here at the map of Lone Star Lake, Texas. Um, this is actually a level one map. Uh, it's a map that we start at, and it has three packs. It has Home Sweet Home, it has Swampy Exploration, and it has Dam Road. But you can actually just walk alongside the way, and here we've got the dam road. And then all the way there, you can cross the bridge and then go in the back of that as well. We'll do that in just a second. But first let's start at the weather forecast. So here it shows we've got three days of cloud, and we've got a sunny day, and then we've got an overcast day. So here in the morning, fishing is okay. Not the best because peak hours start at roughly 5 in the afternoon but 5 in the morning it is okay then it uh, declines a bit around 11 between 11 and say 2 in the afternoon is the worst time fishing but then it will pick up again fish species that we currently have here in texas are a black tail shiner common one blue gill common in trophy a young channel catfish a common golden shiner a common grass pickerel, common green sunfish, radius sunfish, the common end trophy, a smallmouth buffalo, spotted bass, and white crappie. That one comes in a trophy version as well. Um, we need two licenses. The basic, you already have that one, the unlimited, when you start playing this game. And then the advanced one, you can purchase uh, that one uh, immediately if you go to the shop, click on licenses or right here if you hit the buy licenses um, and trip expenses uh, cost nothing our current trip is we start at 5 a.m. and it is day one um, what I'll be doing is let's go to a private room because what I like to do is show you guys uh, some stuff without getting interrupted by other players at the moment there we go we've got a tip but that one was a bit too fast and I actually clicked on the dam road so this is uh, where we start so we can walk up here and oh, need to go actually a bit here there we go our rock comes out right away so this is the oh, the end of ooh, got a nice butterfly going on there this is the uh, end of the lake. I'm gonna bring up the map and stand over there. Let's uh, go to that spot. So this is where we also start in the tutorial. Now you can walk slow. What I'm uh, doing right now, just press W. But if you want to sprint, uh, hold the left shift key. If you want to uh, map it uh, differently, go to uh, go to the uh, interface and change the key settings there so there is the wooden bridge and over there we've got dam road and this is the entire lake that we can fish on what I'll be doing in this video what I'll actually be doing also in uh, when we go to other lakes is always start with a video uh, giving you a small general expression of uh, the lake in question or the pond in question and um, with our current update uh, patch 0.7 and everything after that in the uh, 7 range uh, we see that some stuff has changed give me a second so I can actually drop that kind of stuff in my backpack so it will not show my rod anymore there we go this is much better so we see a bunch of lily pads over there and there as well some weeds and uh, you can actually fish along the entire shoreline of here. If we move in this direction, we've got some more lily pads. So this is the bridge that a lot of folks uh, will be standing on to fish. Uh, these are quite great spots because this spot over here is where we will find a bass and pike along with panfish. And then that side over there it will be catfish and smallmouth buffalo for the most part. Alongside with catfishes uh, as well, also the occasional uh, 
bass and uh, and park you'll find in that big lake um, or in the bigger part of it the lake um, as we move here now I need to watch for a second because um, early on there we go you see a jump there that indicates predator fish if you see that so what we have in this new patch is actually called water clues what they do is they tell you where the fish are. So here we see some small circles of uh, appearing on the water. Those are actually panfish. But when you see a fish jumping out of the water or a fish doing a tail slap or you see a bunch of V's going through the water, it indicates predatory fish. They are on the hunt. So that already gives you a clue as to where you need to fish. So that's what over there is very good for bass and pike and you actually have the same spot over here that does the same thing now if we are on the bridge oh we got a bunch of fees there you guys notice that well a bit quick I hope I can uh, can get them a bit later on but if you start at home sweet home uh, or at swampy exploration you actually start there what you do is you walk towards the middle of the bridge here you see this triangle of weeds go stand on either side of it so if you stand on the right side of it then cross cast cross cast means that you diagonally cast towards the other end cross cast here because this one gives you a clear line of retrieval with no weeds that will uh, snack your uh, your tackle and you can do actually exact same thing on the opposite side so on the right side and there we have some uh, activity going on as well if you cross that right there and then reel in this way you'll also have a very clear uh, retrieval line now of course you can always cast just straight up front but then here roughly what is that 10 meters out you will already get your uh, ideal lure or your live bait snacked by the weeds so what you would always like to do is make sure that you've got a clear line of retrieval so this is the X so to say that you have in this area let's see do I see anything else jumping up nope not at the moment any more V's here here for instance if we turn around you see quite a lot of or we just saw a quite a lot of bubbles going there rings of water there you go there 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 those are all panfish so if you want to go off the panfish this is one of the spots that you need to be at all right now by the way with panfish what i mean with that for those of you who do not know crappy is kind of a panfish but radiant sunfish and green sunfish and golden shiner and blacktail shiner those are typically panfish a blue kill uh, somewhat in a debate channel catfish is a predator pike definitely a predator small buffalo this is actually this is a subspecies of the carp spotted bass is definitely a predator so that's uh, it's not stated in here in the info if they are predator fish or panfish but just so you know so these small ones, so like the, the shiners or uh, sunfish, those are typically uh, panfish. We refer to them as panfish. Here it's also sets, by the way. And this one here is, uh, see that it is a species similar to the carp. All right. Now we press M again, so we'll go back to the lake. If you happen to be completely without money so you've got a negative balance because you had uh, you got fined for either not releasing or uh, by releasing a fish that you should have released or should not have kept uh, you've got no more bait whatsoever left what you can go do is go to this compost pile you see this uh, small wooden sign with the worm on it dive into it press e for interact it says for me it does do nothing 
because I've still got money left and I still have bait left. If you do not, however, and you go here and you press E, what you will get is 25 red worms. So you will get 25 red worms that you can use and uh, you can do some more fishing. Okay, but let's continue our tour around the lake. So these spots, unfortunately, we cannot go to. But a bit further down, I do need to pay attention as to where I go here. We have another spot that we can actually fish for. And where the predators were is actually here. So if you want to float fish them, this will actually be a good spot because this is easier to reach from where I'm standing right now to cast that. Then we'll be on the bridge. And then here we've got some lovely lily pads as well. And along those, um, one of the things that uh, every fisherman, real life fisherman already knows, but for those of you who do not, is that fish like structure. So panfish like to use these lily pads for cover from predatory fish. Uh, but predatory fish, like a pike or like a spotted bass, like to use these spots to do an ambush on the set panfish. So every time you see a structure type, and it can be lily pads, it can be weeds, it can be a dead log hanging in the water, it can even be the bridge itself, uh, a car sitting in uh, into the water. Those are all structures that fish like, uh, like to be. So every time that you get the opportunity to choose between either a structure or say there you got the huge wide open lake, go for the structure because that definitely helps you. And there we have a fish moving quite a lot. Uh, bass or pike, that would be. So but every time you, uh, you want to go fishing, fish around structures and you'll definitely get more fish than when you fish out in the open water. All right. We'll take another turn there, because to our right, you will enter another spot. Where is it? Oh, not there. I think I went a bit too far. Come on. Was that the only one? No, it seems to be the only one. Am I mistaken? I think I'm mistaken. My bad, guys. My bad. So we'll move on. All the way here. True, I believe there was a second spot. But no, there is not. So if you want to reach the other side, what you can do is just walk over here. Unfortunately, this place right here you cannot fish I still hope they would allow us to uh, do some fishing there but unfortunately we cannot or there we can however fish oh, a little bit further here as well so this is another spot that we can fish at again a lot of lily pads here this uh, section of the lake. Here it's also great for uh, panfish. Now, if you do want to do short retrievals and go off the bass, what you can do is stand all the way over here until you can't go any further and cast that right there. You got uh, less snacks that you can, uh, can end up with. So that is quite a good place to go to as well. And moving on again. And this time we'll come back to the bridge because there are no other fishing spots to our uh, right. Until we end up at the bridge again. And that, with that we've covered the first half of the lake. So that is the, uh, like I call it, the weed infested area or lily pad infested area. As you can see quite a lot of those. Moving on, now on the second part of the lake you can fish nearly everywhere. So. All here where I'm walking, every spot you can just uh, throw out your rod. You can even hear me splashing sometimes. And this is uh, a great spot for fishing as well. So if you want to go after a uh, bass in this particular spot, what you can do is you go stand here, cast that right in front of you, then you go in between these lily pads as you retrieve. So that is a good spot. 
for bass, uh, for pike as well. Now if we move down a bit further, we'll come right up here. And here again you see quite a lot of lily pads, they're all there. And uh, if you do a retrieval alongside of it, on the left side of them, you'll get also a, quite a lot of predatory fish next to the panfish. And then here of course it's panfish all over. There, if you just uh, throw in one of those uh, open areas, you'll get quite a lot of panfish. If you move further a bit, and then come towards here, I'll actually show you on the map where we are. We are right there. That is where we are. If you cast that 20 meters straight in front of you on max depth, this is actually the deepest part of the lake. Here you can go to 250 centimeters or 99 inches. Uh, other parts of the lake are uh, more shallow than this section. This is actually the deepest. Uh, if you fish here, you get also quite a lot of smallmouth buffaloes. Those are the carp type species that we have in game. And now we got three Vs by the way. But those are the carp type species that we have in game and they prefer to hang around here. Also a bit more here in the open uh, bodied water. But this is a spot that I do like to fish quite a lot of them. So that is uh, quite, uh, quite good to know. Now we got some Vs going on as well. As you can see, we've got quite some activity going on already. No, can't wait to cast up my rock. But we'll do that in the vid after this one, then we'll go uh, from level 2 to level 3. So here we've got the dam road. And it will lead us to the other side of the lake. Unfortunately, we cannot fish there. That has been prevented to us. But we can, if we rush along the fences over here, here we have the gap in the fences and then here's the spot of dam road. And we can stand all the way up, let me check. Here is where we can go to. If you cast out here, you can actually catch quite a lot of pike. Which is also good. If you can cast out a bit further, it depends a bit on the setup of your rod and reel. But here you've got a patch of lily pads, and here, if you cast out here, which is a bit in the middle of the lake, you'll also catch uh, quite a lot of smallmouth buffaloes, is what I've found. And then over here, it's also again pike and bass. And then there, we've got uh, panfish. A uh, rated sunfish, by the way, is also there quite a lot. Bluegill is uh, more like a panfish and they like uh, covers, so they'll be there. So you can uh, stand up to here to fish. Then we have to pass, yeah, could not go there. Or here. But we can stand here. Now if you can cast that like, far, right behind that lily pad and that lily uh, pad, or those patches of lily pads I should say. Right there is where you will find smallmouth buffalo as well. Then again, if you just uh, want to go off the ba bass or a pike, this is also a great line to go to. Or if you step a bit further out, right here and then turn, you can cast from there and then retrieve up until here. So you got lily pads over here, you got the lily pads over there, or you can turn a bit further and then you get a bit closer towards the shore. And that is also a great spot for uh, both the predator as well as the panfish. You see quite a lot of activity there as well. And that almost brings us back to the bridge. So this is also visible or, or fishable, I should say perhaps. And that leads us back to the bridge. So this is the overview of uh, Lone Star Lake. Uh, I've shown you guys all the packs. I've shown you or given you a bit of uh, hints and tips about where to find certain type of fish. In the next video I'll uh, pick up where I left. Level wise that was level 2. We'll make it towards level 3. 
But this is something that I think I will do for every new uh, lake that um, I will do a, a vid about. I will show you the water clues, where to find them, where to look for. Um, I'll do another vid about fish uh, migration uh, as well. Um, to go a bit more into detail about these water clues and there we've got the V's going on. But this uh, already gives you an inkling as to where to find the fish and what spots are good for a certain type of fish and also gives you a bit the layout of, uh, of the lake itself. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you like it give it a subscribe. Um, if you want to see me fish live or play Fishing Planet live, please go to twitch.tv slash ladyofgames. Uh, you can find me online or live on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Not all days will be about Fishing Planet. Uh, I do love to play other games as well. But uh, I will stream at least twice a week Fishing Planet and will be uh, starting roughly in the evening 8pm GMT plus 1. Uh, for you Americans, um, with that would be about 2pm your time. So that, that's roughly a 6 hour difference. But yeah, uh, 8 p.m. GMT plus 1 is in general when I start between 8 and 9 p.m. And I, in general, stream for roughly, say, 5-6 hours. Sometimes I'll do 4, sometimes I'll do 8. Depends a bit. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you back in my next video, which will be about going from level 2 to level 3. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.